This is the uh, <laughs> horizontal frame hive. So let's have a look at this one. See how they're doing. I'm gonna feed them today and then just check on their numbers and whatnot. Same thing on this hive here, they get all that comb and whatnot built up there, but that's no big deal. Pull their feeder out. Real strong nectar flow on right now with all the goldenrod. Oh wow, that frame, holy. Oh yeah, look at that. All honey, pure honey. And same with the other side. So that's a good sign. I mean, they're putting it away for winter. They're going to be overwintering in this single box here, so. This is the one that I made out of uh, two by sixes. and So it's an inch and a half thick. Look at that, all honey. So there's two full frames of honey. I mean, each one of these probably weighs seven or eight pounds. After today, I'll have fed these hives like four gallons each in the last few weeks, so. Yeah, there's a bit of brood, some honey in the top. And there's a whole bunch of larva and whatnot down in that one. See if I can see the queen eggs. And this is uh, this is all larva here. This is all emerging brood. And then this is all eggs right here. So they're still going strong. They've had a good hatch out. That's pretty well all brood, almost a full frame of brood, except the uh, just a little bit up in the corners where they've got some honey stored. And the same thing there as well. I mean, they've got some real thick honey up there. Yeah, I'm impressed with the numbers in this hive. Guys, okay, transferred them from a. I think it was a five over five nuke. Uh, would have been three-ish weeks ago. All right, so what do we got going on on this frame? It looks like a whole bunch of eggs and larva. So this must have been a frame that had hatched out. And then same thing too, she's got this laid right full of eggs. eggs on this one again and look at all that cap brood there too and we're just back filling all the spots that had already had a, a bee hatch out yeah she's got an egg in every one of those cells let's see what these outside frames look like they should have a substantial amount of honey in them yeah, some weight to it. And yeah, there's some brood there, but lots of honey and lots of nectar. I'm sure a lot of it is the sugar water that I've been feeding them, but the goldenrod flow is on big time right now. Oh yeah, look at that. That's really dark nectar, so that's definitely from the goldenrod. They're capping it here. That's all nectar in there. And same thing here, they're working on getting this capped. Doesn't look like there's much on this outside frame. No, it's still pretty light. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move, move this frame back closer to the feeder. Push these all back down this way here. Throw that in there. And then I'll put this one in. We'll put the feeder in. And that's already full of nectar, nectar. And then when I fill this feeder, they can just pretty well take it from there and put it in that, that frame. They have less, less traveling to do. And it doesn't take long to get there. Take all this wax off, there's nothing in it. Alright, looking good, building up, giving some feed and away we go.